This event today is our Minds and Machines Europe event, where we are introducing Europe to the notion of the industrial internet. We decided to have it at this very iconic venue, a huge power plant built in the 1930s. And we thought it was a very appropriate place to have the event because it's very much a, a relic of our industrial heritage. And what we're trying to introduce people to today is you know, what our industrial future will look like. You have the opportunity also of seeing some new GE technology, whether it's an aeroderivative engine, to a yen back or our healthcare technology, some of our oil and gas technology, to practically demonstrate some of the innovation. I think for me it's about how machines will talk to each other, being able to pick up trends and insights that humans would miss. And they gave one or two examples from the healthcare industry, I think, which was very interesting. And I wonder how that might apply in other sectors, including in my own, in the electricity sector. What we call the power of one is one of the big messages I give you today, that in the industrial setting, small performance changes drive massive outcomes for our customers. And I think Jeff said about the 10% is the innovation, 90% is the productivity benefit. For me, it's getting a better understanding of the dynamic of that. Even within you know, a trade publication like our own, it's not just about writing about what other people are doing with data, it's like how is our business being run and how could we use some of these ideas within our own space. Right now I'm more into the research and academic perspective and seeing that this is actually transforming the whole industry and transforming General Electric as well. It was really exciting to see that from an industrial perspective. We're here today from KHMF1 to support the, the big data story. You know, the car generates in excess of 20 gig of data over a race weekend, and GE are helping us kind of analyze that data, investigate that data, and to make us kind of learn more from it. What we're demoing is a human-machine interface. So this software uses underlying mathematical models to predict how the vessel will move based on what's going on in the environment. And that's a great example of big data. We have done this event in the US. Europe was an important next step. This trend is coming. Other companies started to talk about that in the past, but I think no one with the background, the technology background of GE. And I think today, with what we are starting to do in this domain, we are giving a much higher credibility to the concept.